hey, this is Minister Gold. This is a mix it up tutorial on how to make a chat widget or rather a chat overlay um, for Twitch. Um, although it is multi-platform as you'll find later. Um, so I'll show you how to make one f through mix it up. Um, and it is technically very customizable, but you have to know something about CSS, um, and maybe JavaScript. Um, so there's that, but also I'll show you how to import a, uh, a chat overlay widget. Um, uh, Cassie Desia made one. I, I have found her through the mix it up server. I also took hers and I customized it a little bit, uh, but ultimately uh, the credit goes to her because she she made it. I'm just um, making some changes to it. Um, but ultimately, I'm using a stream elements um, chat overlay because it is extremely customizable. So I'm going to show you several options and you choose which one you want. If you find this tutorial helpful, um, tutorials like this helpful, uh, please leave a like and subscribe for more mix it up tutorials and just streaming tutorials in general. And if you'd like to talk with me about mix it up, Twitch, gaming, life in general, please follow me on twitch.tv slash ministry gold. First of all, uh, click on the top left. I'm going to go to, I'm just showing you the version that I'm on. Now we go to about, I'm on version 1.3.0.5. And now as far as creating the widget, we'll go to overlay widgets. Um, you'll go to add overlay widget, click on the options, go to chat, call this um, test chat, uh, just so we know that I'm not going to keep this. Um, but yeah, so this is how chat looks by default. When you create it, that's how it looks by default. So um, if I enter a message right now, Uh, you'll see it there. It shows up on the bottom. If you want to show up on the top, click on the... Oh, you can't see it. Uh, let's move the position. Let's change it to over here. Okay. I'll move this over here. Okay. So now if I go to add messages to the top, all messages will appear uh, at the top. Okay. If that feels like it's too small, I can go to font size over here. I'll change it to like 36. So I'm clicking over here. I'm going to make changes. So if I go 36, I click on the side. It refreshes. Okay. Um, okay, if you want to change the color to something specific, um, you can go to Google, type in color picker. Uh, you can choose any color in the spectrum. Uh, click here to get the hex value. You can paste it in here for the background color, the border color, or the font color, or the shadow color. If you want to change the font name, it has whatever fonts you have available on your uh, operating system. So um, you can look for free fonts and add them. So just go like a download free fonts. And I'll actually provide you a tutorial on this. So I've already created the tutorial. I'll share the video um, and you can click on it to figure out how to add more fonts. Okay, so it has a platform badges. So let's say you're on YouTube and Twitch, you can show which platform they're on. Show the role badge, like if they're a moderator or VIP, show what level subscriber they are. I'm not sure what specialty is. I'm assuming those are like Twitch badges, like, uh, like for special events that you might've attended. If you want to ignore a user, like let's say I want to ignore my bot, just type in Minister Silver. Click on the side to update it. If I go exclamation point fact, um, Minister Silver shows the fact here in chat, but it's not showing it um, in the chat box. Okay. Uh, if you go to position, uh, so if you have simple, it gives you like a general area for where that box will show. Um, also, I didn't go over the width and the height. If you want to make it like uh, smaller, like height-wise, I can go like 300, make it half the size that it originally was. If I want to make it longer, I can go like 600. So I control the width and height like that. 
Okay, and then yeah, position. Uh, this controls the general area that like where it'll go on the screen. If you want to be more specific, choose percentage or pixel. Um, so the closer to a hundred the X position is, the further to the right it'll go. Um, the closer to the hundred the Y position is, the closer to the bottom it'll be, and closer to zero, closer to the top. And same with a uh, pixel. I found like if you put like fifteen hundred, it'll put it like pretty far to the right. If you put this to like eight hundred, put it pretty far to the bottom. So uh, that's how it works to manipulate the position by uh, by pixel. Uh, where is my mouse? Oh, my mix it up closed. Okay, we're going to reopen and mix it up. Okay, sorry about that. For some reason, my uh, my mix it up shut down. Uh, I'm going to continue where we left off. If you want to control how it looks when it comes when a message comes in and leaves, you can go to animation. So I can go like fade in and then like slide right. Um, which reminds me, I forgot to tell you how to... Um, control how long the messages are in chat for. So if I go to like details, if I go to removal time, I say five seconds, then a message will stay for five seconds. So if I go animation, I'll go like, uh, like that. So it fades in after five seconds, it'll go to the right. And there you go. Okay, HTML, CSS, JavaScript is what you want to play with if you want to change how this looks. Honestly, doesn't look that great. Uh, if you go, also, if you don't want a background color, you can go to background color and just delete it. Um, you just have the border color. Can you delete that too? You can't. So, <laughs> if you want to delete the border color, you'd have to go to CSS and just... Um, like go to border color and just comment it out. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to do that because I'm going to try to keep things simple for you. Okay, so we'll go back to putting this to wheat for now. Um, okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to import an overlay widget. Um, this is an overlay widget that ultimately I got from someone else in the Mixitup server. Her name is uh, Cassie Desia. I'll put it on screen so you can see it and go check her out. She's on Twitch. So let me uh, hide this one. Okay. Uh, import overlay uh, widget. Uh, this is the newest one that I found from her. Uh, we're going to put the position... Uh, let's put it... Let's see if I... Well, first of all, let's call this uh, let's call this Cassie Chat. So I just remember whose it is. Uh, save it. If I go test, you cannot see it. Also, um, I want you to notice how she she made her widget a single widget URL, uh, because. This will separate it from all your other URLs. So if you want to move that um, browser source around somewhere, you don't have to worry about moving all your other overlays attached to that same overlay. So yeah, definitely make it a single widget uh, URL. Um, I'm going to add this to a browser source just so I could demonstrate what it looks like. Uh, right, I set to the center. Uh, so we'll go, um, let's update this one. So I'm going to my OBS. You would go to the plus sign, click on it, add a browser source. Um, I set mine to like 1920 by 1080. I'll paste it in. Okay. Uh, let's test it. Okay, you can't see it, so let's bring it up a little bit. Uh, this is cropped. Um, so I'm going to hold Alt on the bottom node. Hold click. Oh, no. Okay, so the problem is the position of the widget. So let me go to Cassie Chat. Go to the position. Let's go like this. 
and test position. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> so a few more messages. Okay, so um, mine will look different from yours because I've cropped it, so I only see two messages. Okay. If you want to look different, then don't crop it like me. Um, now, I do like how it looks. Uh, I do like um, how the badges are laid out, how the username is laid out, how they're separated from the from the message. So that's very cool. Uh, I don't like how much space it takes up. Um, and that's partly because the the background, you, you like can't see through it for the chat and how, how much padding it has. So I have a modified version of this widget. So I'll show you the version that I used. You can use mine, you can use hers, or you can use stream elements, which is what I'm using. Um, so let me show you mine. And yeah, that's how you import a overlay widget. I'll provide hers and I'll provide mine. So that's hers. Uh, here's mine, which is a modified, it's literally just a modified version of hers. I took hers and I made some changes to it. Um, call this modded Cassie uh, chat. Uh, save. Uh, let's see, where is it? It's right here. Copy the widget URL. I'll go back to my chat widget. Paste that URL in. Uh, let's see. Uh, test. See, that's how mine looks. It's a little bit thinner, and the the background is like semi transparent. Um, so that's how I changed mine. Uh, compared to hers. So copy. I'll, I'll give you that one as well if you want that one. And I'm gonna give you one more option, because I'm ultimately not even using this one. Um, although I do like how this one looks as well. Uh, the one I'm using is from Stream Elements. So let's go to Stream Elements real quick. Okay, so there's a widget called Chat Bubbles, uh, V2.1.2.2 by Zaytree. Uh, I want to make sure there's an easy way for you to look this up. Um, okay, so if I type this in, if I copy this, go to Google. Okay, 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 this is the one. The dynamic chat bubbles, I think is hers. Ah, uh, okay, there you go, there you go. So, if you want to find this, do that. Copy this name. Uh, I'll put that in the description as well. Uh, open a new tab, type it in, and you'll find dynamic chat bubbles. That's when you want to add. Whoever this person is, they gave a lot of options for their chat bubble. Um... So I'll show you. Uh, I'm going to copy the URL. We're going to go to edit too, so you can see it. Okay. Um, okay. Look at all these options on my left side. It has a lot of customizability. You can make it scroll from left to right or from top to bottom. I chose left to right. You can control uh, how many chat bubbles it shows at a time. You can show how long those chat bubbles show for. You can control if it's in dark mode or not. So, honestly, I'm going with this. I love all the options for it. So, let me go back to this. Uh, I'll show you how it looks. Um, uh, just we're not confused, let's go over here. You're just seeing two chat bubbles. Okay, so, yeah, I really like how this looks. Uh, this is the stream elements one. So, this is the one I ultimately went with. So, um, yes, yeah, so just look up the dynamic bubbles, uh, save it, copy the URL. And I'm not going to go through all these options. It's a lot. But I'm pretty confident that whatever you want to update here, you can get it to look the way you want it to. Um, like as far as uh, whether you want to go from top to bottom, left to right, um, stuff like that, the width and the height, everything. Um, I, I love this. So, unfortunately, that does mean you have to have stream elements um, in your chat. So, if you're okay with another bot just for the chat widget, I'd highly recommend using this. Otherwise, you can use Cassie Desia's or my modified version of hers. And yeah, that's how you can make a chat widget for, um, for your Twitch chat.
Um, I think, I'm not sure if this is multi-platform. You have to double check on that. Um, I can give you one more option for chat widgets that is still, I think, um, I, I still like it as far as being able to go from left to right instead of from top to bottom. And that is uh, BotRix. Uh, so BotRix is a multi-platform uh, chatbot. I've already logged in for it. You'll have to do that if you haven't done that. Uh, you'll go to, um, let's see, widgets, uh, chat overlay. Now, um, you will be limited in your options based on if you're a premium member or not. I am not. But yeah, you'll go to, um, if you want this to go from left to right, you go to design, you go to streamline, uh, and now the messages will go from left to right. You can control whether you want it to be on Trovo, which I don't know why people keep pushing Trovo because it's not that popular right now. Um, there's Twitch, YouTube, and Kick. Um, so you can control which of these platforms it goes on. And yeah, I just like this because it goes from left to right. I, I wish you could make uh, the messages more distinct like it is on Stream Elements and like uh, Cassie Desia's overlay widget. Um, but yeah, this also displays uh, BTV and 7TV emotes. So that's cool. Um, and you can hide the commands and ignore your bot <coughs> in, in the uh, chat messages. So, so yeah, BotRix for their chat overlay also has a lot of really cool options. But again, that means adding another bot. So, um, so yeah. There are a lot of options for you to make yourself a chat widget. You can use Mix It Up and import an overlay. You can use um, Stream Elements and use uh, Zaytree's uh, Dynamic Bubbles. Or you can use BotRix to make sure you have a, like a multi-platform. In case, I'm not sure if Zaytree has a multi-platform. I think she does, but I think it's up to like one platform. One additional platform, which I think is all you need. YouTube and Twitch. Um... I'm not sure if you're on TikTok, but but yeah. Yeah, so there you go. There you go. There are a lot of options for you to make a uh, chat overlay widget. I'm sorry if this video was really long, but I hope the information was valuable in terms of like just the amount of options you have for chat overlays. <laughs> if you found this video helpful, uh, please leave a like and subscribe for more Mix It Up or stream tutorials in general. If you'd like to talk with me about uh, Twitch, Mix It Up Gaming, Life in General, please follow me on twitch.tv slash miniature gold. And thank you for watching. All right. See ya.